Buying a house in Anchorage is expensive right now. Sometimes it seems like there's no way around it. There are some ways to make things easier, though, especially for certain groups like first-time home buyers. Joe Kaneen has more. Housing for the average Alaskan is unattainable, not only for purchase, but for construction, uh, due to the cost of everything increasing. The cost of housing has risen by 25% in Anchorage since 2013. It has become difficult for many to find a place to live. The cost of building has gone way up. Um, wages have gone up, although not as fast as people's expenses. Real estate agent Nick Bruckner says prices will not be going down anytime soon. The volume or the amount of land that's available to build on in South Central Alaska is not going to increase significantly. Um, and so that means real estate values are going to continue to be stable or go up. Which is why he advises first-time home buyers to act as soon as possible. It's hard to buy property right now, Bruckner says, but worth it. Because he says if prices continue to rise, it's possible to eventually make money back. It is painful to make that down payment and to save that money up. It involves sacrifice. But the long, like, you're investing in your future self. And it could be beneficial to buy something besides a single family home. You can buy a fourplex for about the same amount of money as you can buy, like, a decent house in Anchorage. And then use the rents to uh, basically cover your housing expense. And then a few years down the road, um, purchase a home. There are affordable loan programs available for veterans, first-time home buyers, and Native Americans. Joe Kinneen, Alaska's News Source. For those in the market, the Veterans Affairs Home Loans, Federal Housing Administration Mortgages, and HUD 184 loans are options. We have more online at alaskasnewsource.com.